Should we go or should we stay? Should we visit friends today? Side by side. Should I buy a bicycle or a motorcycle? I think you should buy a bicycle. Why? Bicycles are safer than motorcycles. You're probably right. So, Mrs. Taylor, what would you like to talk about today? I'd like to talk about Donald's course schedule for next year. All right. Should he study English or Latin? I think he should study English. Why do you say that? English is more useful than Latin. Well, tomorrow is election day, and everybody's talking about which candidate they're going to vote for, Stanley Pratt or Lois Murphy. Let's go live to side-by-side -side TV news reporter Scott Mason, who's talking with some typical voters about tomorrow's exciting election. Scott? Bob, I'm here at the corner of Maine and Madison downtown to find out from some typical voters how they plan to vote tomorrow. Which candidate are you going to vote for? I'm going to vote for Lois Murphy. Why? I think she's more honest and more intelligent than Stanley Pratt. And how about you? Who's your favorite candidate? Stanley Pratt. If you ask me, he's much more capable and more talented than his opponent. And who's your choice, Murphy or Pratt? Pratt. Can you tell us why? Well, Stan Pratt says he'll make our streets safer and our city cleaner. And I believe him. And who is going to get your vote? Lois Murphy. She'll be a much better mayor than Stanley Pratt. Why do you think so? She's a much more reliable person, and her ideas are more interesting. And what's your opinion? Well, you know, some days I think Lois Murphy is better than Stanley Pratt. But other days I think Stanley Pratt is better than Lois Murphy. Well, who are you going to vote for? You know, young man, that's a very interesting question. But I think I'll probably vote for Murphy. And why is that? Well, I think she's more interested in the problems of older people. After all, she's a grandmother. And between you and me, Scott, I think she's a much nicer person. Well, as you can see, voters have lots of different opinions about who is a better candidate. Lois Murphy's supporters say she's more honest and intelligent. Stanley Pratt's supporters say he's more capable and more talented. Lois is nicer. Vote for Lois. Tomorrow's election will certainly be a very interesting one. This is Scott Mason reporting from downtown. Back to you, Bob and Jackie. Thank you, Scott. Well, it's going to be a very interesting election. It certainly is. And that's our report for today. I'm Jackie Williams. Have a good evening. And I'm Bob Rogers. Don't forget to vote. See you tomorrow. You know, my dog isn't as friendly as your dog. Don't be ridiculous. Yours is much friendlier than mine. You know, my novels aren't as interesting as Ernest Hemingway's novels. Don't be ridiculous. Yours are much more interesting than his. My parents say that my room isn't as clean as my sister's room. I disagree. I think yours is much cleaner than hers. Which car should we take to the beach? Do you want to take ours, or do you want to take yours? What do they want to know? They want to know which car we want to take to the beach, theirs or ours. Let's go in theirs. Theirs is much more comfortable. But ours is larger. Oh, well. It doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter to us. Yours is more comfortable than ours, but ours is larger than yours. Let's take yours. OK. We'll pick you up in 10 minutes. Bye. Bye. <laughs> so 
Inspector Larson, do you know who killed Winston Maxwell III? Now, Monica, be patient. I still have some questions to ask these people here. The maid. The butler. The cook. The chauffeur. And the gardener. I believe that somebody in this room killed Winston Maxwell. I can't believe it. We all loved Mr. Maxwell very much. He was a kind and generous man. You know we loved him, Mrs. Fletcher. That's right, Stella. I know you all loved him very much. That might be true. But nevertheless, somebody killed Mr. Maxwell, and they left this handkerchief at the scene of the crime. Let's ask the maid. Is this your handkerchief? Oh, no. It isn't mine. M mine is smaller. See? Then let's ask the butler. Is it yours? It isn't his. His is larger than that one. Show him. Well, then, is it hers? No, it isn't hers. Hers is fancier than that one. And it isn't theirs. I'm certain of that. It isn't ours. Mine is more colorful than that one. And as you can see, mine is older. Inspector Larson, do you really think one of these people killed Winston Maxwell III? Yes, I do. Monica, what are you doing? Oh, I'm sorry, Inspector. I'm just putting on a little perfume. Here, would you like to smell it? Why, Inspector Larson, where's your handkerchief? I guess I left it at home. Now, come on, Inspector. You didn't leave it at home. You left it at the scene of the crime. <gasps> Oh, Monica, don't be ridiculous. Inspector, you killed Winston Maxwell III. This handkerchief isn't his, hers, or theirs. It's yours. Look, here's the initial L in the corner. It's true, Monica. The handkerchief is mine. I killed Winston Maxwell III. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Fletcher. You did it again. The pleasure is mine, Officer Garcia. Well, Inspector Larson, are you ready to go? Take him away. He's all yours. <laughs> <laughs>